Hi Leos, and welcome to your March 2024 read. All right, I'm using the Past Life Oracle deck, like I do. Remember that this doesn't mean it was just your last lifetime. It could be, but if anything, it's a lifetime that you definitely had been dealing with at some point and the storyline of this thread, food and hunger, right? So marking a time of that, you know, this is obviously like uh, being left out in the cold and not, you know, being, being left out on the streets with nothing to eat, begging for food and or mercy, I heard. So, you know, a five of pentacles feel, but I also feel that some of you on the flip side might be chefs, might be interested in cooking in learning the the blessings of food and getting those blessings, not only getting those blessings for yourself, but also praying and giving those to others in this lifetime, right? From any lifetime that, you, that there was lack, you know, this is like from the wars and from prehistoric time, etc. I mean, there, food and hunger has been on since the beginning of existence, you know. But, you know, let's pray, right? Maybe praying for gratitude for what we have today. Okay, let's go. Leo's. This read is for Leo, sun, moon, rising, and or Venus. Beautiful. Rising up. Wow, look at your card came right out here. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Leo's, what's happening? Jeez. Like, if you're looking for love, if you're single and looking, it's, are you kidding me? It's coming in the month of March. It's happening. This is you. You have worked on yourself. You have given yourself enough time to work with your energy and to learn how to rise up from one heart that is strong, vibrant, and all-knowing, and, and having that as two hearts becoming one, right? Wow. Mermaids could be significant. They We have two mermaids here, right? So this is, of course, to the depths of one's heart space. Does one find their true happiness? Right? Something will be illuminated, right? Something will come to to your attention, it will be something that you obviously will see that is for you. Um, you're rising up. To your own understanding and more importantly, your realization. This is self-realization. This is the path of rising to that. And being strong, stronger than ever. When we know, right? When we know our own strength, everything falls into place. All the planets are aligned for this to happen, for this to come in, and Leo's for you to be fulfilled. This is fulfillment in whatever way, shape, and or form it comes in. 
All right. Wow. This is beautiful. I can't even. These readings for Marge are off the chain. I don't even know what to tell you. They're so beautiful. Wow. That's, that's all I've been saying the whole, for all the readings is just wow. Because it just keeps getting better and better. All right, let's go. Let's get a few layers here for Leo's. Oh, jeez, I can't get it. All right, so judgments is, judgment is reversed. We do have a hawk and or an eagle that may be playing into your connection, your union. Uh, this is a union of, well, family, obviously union, but uniting as, as a, the whole, right? Uniting as the whole of, this is like, you know, during adding Adam and Eve time, you know, but here comes the Holy Spirit in the sun, which you could see is what you have here. The sun is here. And it's casting a beautiful um, essence of clarity, knowing that something that, okay, just bear with me, something that has died is being resurrected. I don't know if it's a relationship or it could be you're getting downloads from spirit from your spirit guides about those who have crossed over loved ones father mother son okay crossing over of you know loved one without question on in certain ways that is a crossing over and seeing very clearly through the heart, right? You know, families touch our heart. This is 20. The justice card is 20 and we have two here. So two hearts literally that beat as one, knowing that we are one, seriously. Okay, yes, someone who has crossed over, is sending you messages from spirit. Now, it is the sun because we have the sun here, the sun here, and the sun here. Are you kidding me? All right, if a sun has crossed over, maybe eight weeks, eight months, 20 weeks, something like that, 28 weeks, maybe they were 28. 28 could be significant number, but it also lends itself to be 28 is 10. You're getting spirit downloads from the other side via the Holy Spirit of an eagle and or a hawk. You may be going to visit the grave site knowing that they're not there but wanting to feel their presence. You will feel their presence if someone has crossed over. It's already happened, it's not a prediction. In the month of March, you're going to feel this person's love without question, rising, rising. So, so I'm hearing a rise of a, like a wind like you're standing somewhere and the wind just goes right through you. And that is their essence going through you. Wow. Wow. Okay. Oh, geez. And the 10 of wands is, you know, it's to be, it's, it's not that we're not, happy of this love, this dear love, and this dear loved one. If it's a new love coming in, that could be two. Someone who may want to come back. Someone may have been giving up and wanting to return. 
okay? No doubt when they return, right, it someone may be bringing their their woes with, okay? Someone could be wanting to express what they've been through and how far that, you know, what they've gone through, right? I have to put this just a little up so you could see it, right? I should move these over, hold on. I wanna make sure you can see as we have a conversation, okay? All right, much better. Now, let's continue. Um, so what's, what is it that we've come to terms with? Well, what we know is with the eight here, we know that life is eternal, right? We also realize what, for, for some of you, karmically speaking, what goes around comes around. Someone could be coming back from a long trip. Someone could, be, could have left and w they went out of the country. And now they're coming back. And they may be asking Leo to get together they're not sure their hands are up like i don't know maybe i will maybe i won't life is free freedom for some of you i feel this is for some of you it's coming and going as you please and that's a beautiful feeling even after all the struggles, the trials and tribulations of life, you know, it's not like we don't endure hardship for freedom, right? Seven of Swords. So something here, something beautiful. I'm going to say it. Something beautiful here has been tainted. What does that mean? I mean that this clarity that you're getting, if this is someone who has left your life either through spirit as a loss at the gravesite or as a letting go of someone who didn't add value in your life. Let's just say, whatever that is, someone is deciding to come back to return only to tell you what was going on behind the scenes so that you are you become enlightened to the truth. This is a loved one. There's no doubt love here. There's no doubt of this love. It could be new love because we haven't unfolded, unraveled the story here. Like this already happened, right? The fire's burning behind this guy and he knows someone's got information, someone's got intel and is coming, deciding to come Leo to tell you about this info or insight why they left, why they're coming back, what reasons were, was, what reason did they leave in the first place? Or if they did cross over, it could be a case that is being investigated. Someone could have gone through a near-death experience and saw what the other side feels like. 
What's this info on the Seven of Swords? I don't feel it's anything else but information. Wow. Someone's coming in, Leos, to tell you that they, okay, they for some, they were eclipsed out of your life. Literally. Okay. For others, someone wants in the 11th hour to be resurrected again. They may be coming to tell you and or Leo's ask you why. Why did you eclipse me out of your life? Someone is coming and or someone is coming in to say my ego is now was now was the problem. And let me tell you what I had to go through, what I've endured. You have 10 and 10. You have two tens, right? And don't forget you have the 20. So you have 20 and 20, right? So you have two tens and a 20. So the 20 here, and then the two tens is another 20. So two twos and twos. You are going two, 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 two. You have four twos. Go Google for two, 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 two spiritual meaning and read that not only are you on path, but you have also made the choices in your life that have elevated your own spirit to understand why people come and go. Two, 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 two. Four twos, guys. And of course, then you have the ace, all right? So that's a one, one, one. So you could be seeing four twos or three aces, which is one, one, one. Okay, I got to get another card down here. And someone took themselves out of, out of the situation and put themselves right back into work. So I, someone decided that after all is said and done, I got to get back to work. Someone could have lost a job. Again, it could be grieving the loss of someone who has crossed over and has ascended. Some, it, someone, it could be a loved one, a son. Someone could be finding out pertinent information here, though. I'll tell you, I feel this strongly. Let's go to the Seven of Swords real quick. Four of Swords and Two of Wands. Another two. You have five twos. Scratch the four twos. You have five twos. Someone is, someone has been very illuminated to what information, the wisdom they have, there's wisdom that's being imparted after going through massive hardship. Someone's going to find out Within the next four, okay, when you see this, Leos, in four days or four weeks, someone's going to find out some, get some intel about what happened. If, a, if it is a child who has crossed over.
I don't know if spirit wants to give me the info. Tower. It came out of the blue. Some information is coming out of the blue that is going to give you some pertinent information and it may come from a distance. It, it may come from a father figure or their father, the son, father and son. Some information's coming out of the blue about a father and son. And that covers, that's covering or clarifying the Seven of Swords. And someone feels ashamed because I feel and I'm hearing that this father had information about the son that wasn't provided before that tower hit. And was deciding whether or not to offer up that information. And they decided not to. And now they're, they're, they're reaping some of that karma. Well, interesting enough, for sure. Karmically, something is in maybe it's a legal issue. Or it's in the legal field it's with the law something happened someone knew about it and didn't speak up and now it's coming out they want me to turn cancer pisces scorpio so something's happening here for sure about this legally and and okay so they're telling me turn it around again this is about someone's emotional health mental Mental and emotional health of a father and or son. Someone knew something wasn't going to, something was going to happen. Here. Okay. I, I want to go to, actually, no, they don't want me to do that. They want me to pick this up and just go within. All right, let's go within. The Ace of Cups, please, with the sun. Wow. I heard, I heard immediately, single again. Single. But, but, look at how beautiful. You've got it all here. Some of you are single and meeting new love. And this is the person maybe looking at you. I'm going to get another card. You do have a progression, 8, 9, and 10. Wow, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone is coming in that may be a new love that's a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Leo's. This is you. And this is a connect. Wow. Wow. We did say Cancer Pisces Scorpio here in the beginning, but no no doubt we had Leo. You you're in the center of everything here. You're the ma the masculine and feminine. If you're single, a new love comes in. That's a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone may be coming back, resur wanting to resurrect, imparting some uh, like information that's going to be um, like something will, will come in. There, they someone this Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio might have made a decision. 
to come in, Leo, to explain something that happened that you were not privy to. Someone could definitely have a child, or this is a child coming through. Someone could be getting downloads from spirit that is going to help someone's case. Don't forget we have the justice so that justice is served and we have now a connection. Look at that. We have a soul to soul connect. And this is what's been going on throughout March. So many people are joining forces and not just for love, but for the greater good of the all. Yes. Okay. They're telling me to stop at that point. Let's go to the love cards for Leo's. This is beautiful. I want to know. I want to know. I'm like so bad. I want to know. All right. You deserve love. This is Saggy. I'm hearing that's the message. I'm hearing if you're getting a download from across, from across, someone who has crossed over, they are going to show you an eagle, a hawk, or a bow and arrow and near water. You may be out in water. You're going something in water. You may live by water and or mountains, both. And you're walking all alone, etc. And you feel this arrow you know, it's invisible. It's like this invisible arrow of a message coming to you from spirit, from a spirit guide, as you're out in Mother Earth, telling you, I'm sending you this message that not only are you lovable, but you're going to find out some information that is going to help the case. Past life relationship, here we go. You and another have definitely been in this lifetime together before. This is like very passionate, right? So is that. So this relationship is quite passionate not only in this lifetime, but because you know you deserve it, you get it. Once you have freed yourself from all of the tumultuous past grief and pain, you are now, you have become, and some of you, it's the unicorn. Some of you are realizing that You've taken back control of your life, no doubt, by freeing yourself and becoming a free agent for love, of course. But I really believe that you're, someone is getting messages from the other side. Someone freed themselves from the earth plane. And this is a relationship that you felt before. I want to take one card. They're saying one card for the food and hunger. Because this is, I, I just hear starvation and cravings. Let's take one card for Leo's. Look at, right? So this was about at one time in a past life, Leo's, you were financially not viable to buy. It was very slim, slim. The money was slim. The income was slim. You weren't making enough money. You were 
you and or your children were hungry. You didn't have the money to purchase food. Okay. And so in this lifetime, in this lifetime, you have the means. You're at nine of pentacles. You So I'm going to say for some of you Leos, you have freed yourself from the karmic ties of not having enough, not deserve, not feeling deserve, deserving of, right, the essentials. And now you have overabundant essentials and that has been severed. That has been severed. You have the dark horse, the dark unicorn, and you have the white. You've cleared it. Wow, that's beautiful. Okay, now we can pick a Mother Earth card, Gaia card for Leos. Wow, what a beautiful read, you guys. These are all beautiful. The Eagle, it has come out three times. Three times. I'm not kidding you. It came out three times for three other signs. Some of you, you're going to see an Eagle. I mean, Hawks are easier to see. So when you're out in Mother Earth and you're praying, thinking about a past loved one, maybe maybe asking for advice from spirit, from your spirit guides, right? And they bring you the hawk and or the eagle. This is Native American. This is communion with spirit. This is communion with, with God. This is God's, God's way of saying there is life after death. You don't need the cards because you know. You know. And if you didn't know, you will in March, you will start feeling the presence of and the fragrance of spirit all around you. What a beautiful reading. Oh my gosh. They're all off the chain. Yeah, it's beautiful. Okay, I love you guys. Let me know if this resonates. Have a great month. It looks like it's going to be amazing. Take care.